with the Louisville Free Public Library. In 2017, we launched the Collider Artist in Residence program. Randy Gray is our March 2021 Virtual Collider Artist in Residence. We are excited to welcome Randy back as he was our in-person artist for July of 2018. Randy is a Louisville cartoonist and we hope you will join him for his live program. Hey everybody, my name is Randy Gray and I'm a cartoonist and I'm so happy to be here with you and we're going to talk about drawing cartoons. Um, a little bit about me. I went to the University of Kentucky uh, and I studied graphic art. Uh, I went to school in Louisville Manual um, and studied visual arts there and I've basically been drawing since I was a little kid. I used to record videos of cartoons on the TV and I would start trying to draw what I would see on the TV and that's kind of how I learned myself. And one thing, and among all the things that you're going to talk about when you uh, are here with me is some of the stuff that I learned along the way and some of the things that I wish I knew when I was a younger artist. Um, and one, just a glimpse of what is some of the thing, one of the things that I learned is when you're getting, when you come to the library and you check out one of those cool art of or how to draw books, is they'll usually show you the structure of how you build towards drawing the character. And I used to say, oh, I don't want to draw that stuff. That stuff is boring. But what I learned in school and from drawing from so many years is that stuff is really important. So if you're going to draw a character, say, the simple shapes to build towards your character is really important because it not only helps you draw those individual characters, but it also helps you draw others. And it trains you to start seeing the simple shapes inside more complex shapes. And that's basically a stick person for me, but I can see, I can take this and I can build out to pretty much any character running that you can think of. And that's just a little bit about me, but here are a few of the tools of the trade that you need for cartooning. And the cool thing about drawing, the cool thing about cartooning, it, you don't really need anything fancy. When you go to the art store, it can be a little bit intimidating because there's a million different types of pencils and a million different types of pens. But all of those things are just for different types of artists or different people's preference. Uh, really, I just use a normal colored pencil. Some people like to draw their draw, uh, make their finished drawings lightly in blue because when you're making photocopies or when you're scanning it, the blue doesn't really show up. But I'm not really a huge fan of that because sometimes when you're going back over it in ink, it kind of can be a little bit funky. But you, I like mechanical pencils. But any pencil will do. Uh, mechanical pencils are good for me because I like to draw lightly and this just helps me to kind of be a little bit lighter on the paper. Uh, drawing lighter, as you'll hear me talk about, is, is, is better for building up your drawings to be more finished. Um, I use a uh, brush pen. This is particularly a Kuretake brush pen. Uh, it's, it's, you can refill it with ink. Uh, and it, you draw with it really smooth. Um, you can get a really thin line or a fat line depending on how you hold it. And this is something that I kind of grew to use. This isn't anything that's essential, but when I was younger, I went through a bunch of different types of pens and I would look and see what artists, other artists would use. And what I found is there are a lot of different artists that use a lot of different types of things. But you just want to make sure that you're drawing and you have a good pencil that you can use whenever you, you know, anything you grab around the house and always have a sketchbook. It doesn't matter what kind of sketchbook, just always keep your sketchbook with you so you're always drawing. I like the types of paper that's uh, smooth. I don't really use a lot of lined paper, but I tell you, if I get the urge to draw and I have lined paper lying around, that's what I'm going to use. And if you want to see a little bit more of my work, you can always visit me at my Instagram, which is at CartoonRandyG, just like it sounds. And I also have a website about some funny stuff that went on in my life called myquestforcool.tumblr, T-U-M-B-L-R.com. Thanks for being with me, and I really hope that we have fun together drawing, guys. Mm -hmm.